Hey WWCCMP, it's Miss Caitlin here again with another story. Skippy John Jones. He is one of my favorite book characters. I think he's just so silly. So let's sing our book song and dive right in. Ready? Front cover, back cover, spine, and the pages. Front cover, back cover, spine, and the pages. Front cover, back cover, spine, and the pages. Those are the parts of a book. All right, let's dive in. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on as, and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Well, once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? again and again it appeared then using his very best spanish accent he said my ears are too big for my head my head is too big for my body i am not a siamese cat i am a chihuahua back on land skippy john jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk after he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse skippy john jones began to sing in a moy moy soft voice my name is skippito Fresquito." I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. -o. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into the journey, a mysterious old band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Hey, caramba, who goes there? Asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of the Los Chimichangos, Don, yell, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito. The greatest sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. When the smallest of the smallest spoke up, Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skippito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pito Lito. Si, sí, I love mice and beans, said Skippito. <gasps> he might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tianita if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the chihuahua's very large ears. <sighs> Chupi -chu. Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippee It's the end of Alfredo Pazito. Scapito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumbolito. Then all the chimichangos went. Crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. That's a party. Then they took a siesta. That's a nap. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious bee's knee. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumbolito for Skippito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Fuzito, whispered the crowd. El Bumble Bumblefito Bandito. 
Mm -hmm. Say poquito tito. The bandidos steals our frijoles. <gasps> Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Peace. Poquito continues. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Skipito added. Poor Kay, asked Skipito, because we are all full of the beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Skipito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Skipito, or Poquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skipito. Then all of the chimichangos turned, turned towards Skipito, the great sword fighter. Is he a great sword fighter? I guess we're going to have to find out. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skipito, or it'll be you the bandit will eat oh, they cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then, in a moy, moy soft voice, he said, my name is Skipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for the Skipito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's head. <gasps> Holy frijoles, cried Skipito as he thrust his sword into the air. Pop! Went the bandito landing on Skipito's sword, and quicker than one could say, Chihuahua's cheese and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of the Alfredo Bazito, the Bumblebeeto Bandito. Look at all those beans flying everywhere. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yippee, 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 Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who deliver the beans, and now we can make our burritos. They are super happy they got their beans back. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy, Skippy John Groom that Mama Jumba Jones and the girls had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the Skitty Boy's room. Bingito, Crushito, Papito, Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding everywhere. Then out flew Candy beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Jumbo Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, furry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Kogo Pugs, she scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know my cat, but forget about that. <sighs> Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mother. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. All right, I hope you enjoyed this silly story of Skippy John Jones, the silly Siamese cat. Uh, I hope you tune in for our next uh, video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share the videos, like them on Facebook. We miss you and we love you.